Cheers, dear. Cheers. Happy Monday. Yes. Today we want to talk to you about Tootsie Pops. Yep. Um, Not friends. No. Candy. No. I, I originally had this idea because surprisingly few people know the origin story of why we do Tootsie Pops, even members of our own team. So I was like, you know what, it's probably good for us to do a focus video on this. Uh, to go behind the the scenes as to why we decided to do this and why we still do it today. Um, so starting out with you know what the Tootsie Pop really is. So it's a small lollipop that we include with every order that goes out. Okay, yes, yes. lollipop, obviously. <laughs> Some people may not know. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so it's a lollipop that we include with every order. Mm -hmm. We have not actually done it from day one. No. This was something that came about a couple of years into the business. I want to say late 2012. I think that's about right. Yeah. It was uh, coming up on Halloween, I think it was. There was a lot yes. of candy on sale. Um, and actually, we got the idea from your sister yep. because she was a photographer at the time, buying like albums and prints and stuff like that for her clients. She would buy from a company called White House. Anybody who's in the photography world, you probably know that company. Um, and they included a blow pop in every order, like a full size blow pop. And it made an impression. Yeah, she would like freak out every time she would get it and she would rave about it to us to the point where we were like, we had a really positive impression of White House. Because of the blow pop. Because of the blow pop. And we were like, <laughs> you know what? We'd never had like that experience like from an e-commerce store before as kind of like a, an observer. So we thought that would be really cool to give our customers something like that. Yeah, I remember we went to Target or wherever and they had, you know, Halloween candy on sale. So we, we oh, started yeah. with that. We did, we tried different types of candy. We did. And we even tried like a tier where like really expensive orders would have like a really small bag of Jelly Belly because they were really expensive. Yeah. And we tried like Charms Pops. We tried all kinds we tried of different blow stuff. Yeah, I remember there was a time where we had the Tootsie Pops and then, you know, higher we end orders. We did full size blow pops or full size Tootsie Pops, whatever. We iterated, we tested a lot mm -hmm. of different things. Come to find out these dang little Tootsie Pop, they're technically Tootsie Pop minis, mm -hmm. um, but that was what everybody freaked out the most about. Well, and we, you know, we get a lot of requests over the years too. Why don't you do chocolate? Why don't you do whatever? Well, chocolate would melt Melts. when you, um, you know, even if it's cold here, depending on where it's going, it could be warm, so we can't mm -hmm. do chocolate. Has to be something that is contained, can't be crushed. Um, it doesn't change the weight of the packaging, so it has to be small, but also meaningful enough, um, and it to like, not last. taste terrible. Yeah, and it <laughs> kind of worked out that these are somewhat nostalgic, so everybody has somewhat of familiarity to them. It sort of kind of fits in line with fountain pens. It's like people kind of tangentially maybe sort of know about fountain pens, but they don't, maybe haven't tried one in a while or something like that, and the Tootsie like, Pop oh, really yeah, holds Tootsie nicely Pops. into that. I haven't had one of these in forever. Yeah, exactly. So it really fits nicely into that. Um, so that's part of why we did it. And then also the, the, the deep, slightly ridiculous the, amount of care. Also. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, there's all kinds of great feedback that I'm going to read in just a minute, but then just as we were testing different kind of things, the Tootsie Pop kind of came, came about as one of the most favorable candies as we were testing them. And I had a memory of me as a kid, I would buy random candy. I loved candy, still do. I have mm -hmm. a sweet tooth like crazy. Um, and I love my dad and I love my mom. So I, my mom wasn't as much into candy. My dad liked it a little more. So, um, when I was a kid, I would go to like the dollar store or, you know, whatever convenience store or something like that. I always wanted to like buy my parents candy to show them my affection. And I would buy my dad like Boston baked beans and lemon heads and all kinds of like, like nostalgic candy. And Tootsie Pops was one of the things that I would buy. And I always remember him really liking, I would get this like 10 pack, like, like the bouquet. bouquet of <laughs> Tootsie Pops from the dollar store and he always had a good reaction. So it's kind of that same like passing on of affection towards my father. And I was saying back, part of why we would put the candy, I mentioned the slightly ridiculous amount of care, yeah. is sometimes our packages, at least especially earlier on, now we're trying to be a little more green in our um, packaging, so trying to use less mm -hmm. material and things like that, but trying to keep it safe. But back in the day when we went a little, slightly ridiculous, a little overboard, it gave you a little something to do while you're opening your package. That's right. Because so it would take a couple of minutes to get through all the bubble wrap and all the shrink wrap, shrink wrap and, and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, just to show you, I mean, part of why I wanted to talk about this is because um, of your feedback that you've given to us. Um, uh, one of whom was the packaging was awesome. All of my items were present and safe. Also, thanks for the lollipop. At first, I was bummed because it was chocolate flavored, but upon tasting it, I loved it. Unfortunately, I had to sell all my pens because I'm now addicted to chocolate flavored Tootsie Pops. So there you go. <laughs> Introducing, enhancing people's lives. Um, Introducing and them to new yeah, flavors. Exactly. And I had one really good one that kind of sums it all up. Part of why it's fresh on my mind is because when we did the video about stopping doing the handwritten notes and talking about Gilly packaging, 
there were so many people that had the feedback of like, oh my gosh, whatever you do, do not get rid of stop the Tootsie Pops. The tootsie pops. <laughs> they were like, Henry and I, it's okay, yeah, we're sad, but do not lose the Tootsie Pops. Um, and Sketch Stack here on YouTube said, I think customers will be pleased as long as they keep receiving free fountain pens with each Tootsie Pop order. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. So very much kind of an affectionate thing that is now intertwined with the, the experience of Goulet pens. So we've even had some of our <laughs> packers get creative with how they put them in Absolutely. the Absolutely. We had one guy uh, who, in the, uh, the the cardboard boxes, you know, like the corrugated, and they have like little holes mm -hmm. in the like the edges. You put it in the edge and close it up so that way when you'd open your package <laughs> it opens with the Tootsie Pop yeah, yeah that's gotten quite a bit of a reaction and we do buy quite a few of these things you know we buy them you know we have a bag here that's got you know 300 mini Zeta Pop and we buy them in a box of 10 bags at a time uh, so it's not a small investment and uh, you know we definitely have to store them and properly care for them they are peanut free and gluten free Exactly. Not sugar free, unfortunately. No, but we figure at least if you don't like them or can't have them, you probably know someone who will. So you can delight whatever. Um, Pay it forward with yeah, a free. child child of any age. Just don't uh, go like on life. the street and try to, you know, <laughs> True. hand out candy don't from Don't hand your it band. out like an unmarked white van or something <laughs> like that. As long as you do it to somebody you know, I think you'll be okay. Oh my goodness, that took a dark turn towards the end there, but we'd love to hear your feedback on this or any other packing experience that you've had with us. Obviously, the way that you receive your products from us is of the utmost importance. We want you to have a great experience. So that's about it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching, and right on.